Hello watch fans, Beth here watches here and inside this box which we also have the outer sleeve for even though it says do not remove or sorry remove before given to the customer we have a Grand Seiko. Now you have the rice paper and you lift the watch out of the box using the rice paper. In the box we have the cleaning cloth, the guarantee and the book. So nice lot of equipment here. And then we have the actual watch as well as the hang tag. Now, those of you that know Grand Seiko know the quality, so I don't need to really get excited about that. Although the hands on this are special, the way they're polished. So this has spring drive technology. Now, in essence, what you have is a mechanical rotor, but they've replaced it. Mine's a mainspring, all conventional there, but instead of a balance, it uses electromagnets. Now, this means that it is incredibly precise. You don't get tick, 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 tick. There's none of that. This just runs smoothly. So this second hand is the smoothest sweep of any second hand you will ever see. It is not stuttering around the dial like any mechanical watch, any other. Uh, very, very accurate as well. They were quoting plus or minus one second per day. I think it's actually 15 seconds per month, so you could probably half that plus or minus one second per day. So it also requires uh, less maintenance than a conventional uh, mechanical watch. So it really is win-win-win and it's technology that Grand Seiko developed and you can't get it anywhere else. Screw down crown, titanium case and bracelet so it keeps the weight down. Uh, I'm used to vintage watches. There are a few little marks on the inside of the clasp. Obviously you can't see those. I'm used to vintage watches. Bigger watches don't really suit me, uh, I find anyway. But being titanium, it does keep the weight down and I've been able to wear this very, very happily. Signed crown, screw down of course. And this has the snowflake dial, so this is meant to look like fresh snow. That's actually repeated on the rice paper, that pattern. Uh, it's difficult under studio lighting to actually see the effect but uh, hopefully it does come across. It's almost like very heavy, posh paper. Beautiful effect, but subtle. You have the uh, power reserve down there, which with the spring driver is 72 hours. Again, longer power reserve. Uh, when it hits the bottom, that's when it's full. So this is about halfway. And if I wind it up, you'll see the power reserve heading downwards and then screw that back down. Uh, so it's almost the opposite of a fuel tank. A very, very high quality watch, great design, great technology, box, papers, hang tag, everything you could want. And if you wanted a one watch collection, something that you could wear absolutely everywhere, then I don't see where this would be a problem. You're not going to get your arm chopped off for it. It's got the horology behind it. It's got the history behind it. It's got immense quality to it. Overall, a very, very nice thing. Hope you have enjoyed Seiko Week. Uh, we have. And if you want to see more on this watch, including the price or how to buy it, please click the link in the pinned comment. There are just very very slight scratches on this because this is from uh, 2020 or 2021 was when it's actually sold uh, if these put you off these very very slight marks then you probably need to be looking at a new watch which you can still buy these from Grand Seiko I think they're uh, around six thousand pounds new great thing Thank you for watching. See you next time.